In today's local and national news, we review the story of an army medic who sold plain water, claiming it was COVID-19 vaccine. Thai Airways planning huge cuts for its recovery programme. Regional elections for our area and much of the nation, so another no alcohol day. And snakes feeling the change in the heat. Thailand's Supreme Army Commander has confirmed the story that a Thai army medic in the South Sudan had given soldiers injections of plain water, claiming it to be the COVID-19 vaccine. 273 soldiers paid for the injections on a peacekeeping mission. The medical officer went on to charge those he injected 650 baht each for the privilege until he was caught. Both the UN, who were working with the army unit, and other soldiers reported the lieutenant. An inquiry took place and he was fired from the army and then stripped of his medical qualification before returning to Thailand. Rumours have been rife on this story, with many claiming it occurred here. It actually took place, as said, last year and was in the Sudan, but has only just been confirmed. Thailand's mental health department decided yesterday that Amanda Obden, the Miss Universe Thailand 2020, is not suitable as her role as the mental health ambassador, just a few days after appointment, but after reports were received of her supporting those who have, in recent weeks, become violent in anti-government demonstrations in the capital. 42 cases of COVID were reported by the government yesterday, 35 in the general population and one death. This on the day that reports were confirmed of five people amongst over 3,000 vaccinated developing after effects, four just swelling around the needle mark and one who felt sick. In all then, the after effects have been nominal. Thai Airways has finally published its recovery programme. The rehabilitation plan will see salaries frozen, staff cut by up to 50% and a reduction in the type of planes used, seeing maintenance simplified. 86 planes will remain in operation and non-profitable routes will be cut passing them over to smaller companies. Meanwhile at home, and as predicted following the recent arrest of minor dealers in our region, Chombury police have nabbed a bigger fish, along with 44 pounds of crystal meth. That's enough to get him the death sentence, but he too is likely to be squealing and handing over names of anyone he knows of involved in the trade. The regional clampdown on dealers has been in effect for some while and is expected to continue. March the 28th is the date set for national regional elections. That then will be a no-alcohol day, which is standard protocol here. The municipal elections are already being touted for, with banners and trucks trailing the areas around the city, with big promises of the future. The election of Patty as mayor, though, will be later in the year. Even snakes are feeling the change in heat as we enter the dry and hot season. This week saw a six-metre-long python recovered from a provincial garden. Weighing in at over 100 kilograms, it was safely removed by snake teams and returned to the wild. Worth keeping your eyes peeled, though, as snakes of all types are livening up now and have been spotted in many gardens. And with a reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing – and the Met Office promising a cooler 28 degrees today, dropping down to 24 and a good chance of rain. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.